body was found by the highway embankment near an overpass. What if I'm thinking I'm sitting across from a man who doesn't mind killing and who has the knowledge and training to murder someone and cover it up? You'd be right, but not this murder. But you still match the description of someone seen walking the highway earlier today near where the body was found. Well, that's because it was me. Why? On account of Blind Blake. We're running down a phone number found in the dead guy's shoe. Want to clear that up, too, before you let you go. You know anything about that? Paul Hubble, banker, lives in Margrave, works in Atlanta. No priors. He just confessed to the murder. Oh, thanks for the hospitality. Not so fast. I was just cleared. One guy lied about killing another guy. That doesn't clear you. Jim. <laughs> Guard from last night, Spivey. You set us up in Gen Pop. We played off like it was some kind of innocent mistake, but it was intentional. Something bad's going down in my grave. That's me. Greyhound confirmed that's their Tampa station two nights ago. No way you could have been in Margrave in time to kill anyone. The Kleiner Foundation takes care of Margrave. Ever since Mr. Kleiner came to town about five years back, that there's Kleiner Jr. and his bug house cousin Dawson. You looking for a dance partner? Because the last person who eyeballed me like that was a woman down in Panama when I was stationed at Fort Sherman, and she wanted to dance to Tom Burrito with me. Do you want to dance to Tom Burrito with me? What's your bag, Mr. Ranger? Another body was found in the brush, 40 yards from the first one, so a caliber bullet. Gotta go to the morgue. Did Hubble talk when you two were locked up? He didn't talk to me the whole time we were in there. I don't believe you. Perhaps the medical examiner will say something that jars your memory about Hubble, and you can share it with me. First, you make it clear I'm not a cop anymore. Now you want my help? I want you to do what I say. We were wrestling. That's how my brother got this scar. Just thinking maybe my brother told me about Blind Blake for a reason. Thinking I'm supposed to do something about it. Like what? I guess I'll find everybody responsible. And kill every last one of them. There's been another murder. Police Chief Morrison. The people Hubble worked for said they'd nail him to a wall and cut his balls off if he caused problems. You said Hubble didn't tell you anything in jail. So you're saying that Morrison was working with the same killers Hubble was mixed up with? That or we just saw a big fat coincidence nailed to the wall. Oh, I thought you might have been Paul. That's why I left the gate open. You never came home? He called late last night, said that he had to speak to some people about sorting out this bank madness. And when I woke, I realized he'd never come home. Pack your bags with kids. Where are we going? Got a call from Finley. FBI agent A. Picard is on his way. He's taking you into protective custody. OK. This is off the books. To get a family into an actual protection program would take time and red tape. If they're killing cops in their own homes, then what chance do any of us got? A damn good chance. Because as of today, per the powers given to me by the town charter, I have appointed myself chief of police. When I moved Kleiner Industries to this town five years ago, Margrave was run down. But I said to myself, these are the kind of people who can bounce back. I have faith in our new chief of police, Mayor Teal, and I promise I will provide whatever funds, whatever resources to find whomever is responsible for these heinous acts. Teal's trying to frame the Morrison hit as a revenge killing. Just sent me off to chase my tail. Told you he's dirty. I'm prone to agree, but incompetence can look like malevolence, and it's a whole lot more common. You know who's not incompetent? Kleiner. Finley? Got an idea on the body that was found with Joe. We gotta get to the morgue. Once Prince came back, we got a full run on the man. Victim's name is Pete Joblin. Trucker. Secret Service. Hello? I got your message regarding Joe Reacher. Joe's dead. What position did Joe hold in the Secret Service? Uh, he, he, was, he was the director. He was the director of the Office of Investigations. Was there a specific division of OI that Joe was heading up? He ran our antique counterfeiting department. No way it's a coincidence Hubble was a currency manager for Access Financial's Atlanta branch. I'm going to pay a visit to that jail guard, Spivey. Got his address this morning, next county over. Tanner Spivey, called your company multiple times in the last three days. Pete Jobling, also deceased. As a former truck driver for Kleiner Industries, we're just looking for some clarification as to your relationship with these men. And regarding Mr. Joblin, I ship product all over the country. And that's for Mr. Spivey. You, you said he called my company? 
Well, we have a general number with over a dozen departments. Perhaps Mr. Spivey has a buddy on the loading docks. So we have three viable leads right now. Hubble, Jobline, Spivey. Spivey's in the wind. Hubble's wife doesn't know anything, but maybe Jobline's wife does. And so he, but and question her tomorrow. Do whatever you want, but Spivey's the answer. I get him to rat on whoever paid him to kill Hubble. We know everything. Hello, Spivey. When I asked Mosley what kind of business Kleiner was in, he said truck and real estate and chemicals. You know what he didn't say? Agriculture. I already told you a delivery like that's pretty normal for these parts. Still, it was a hell of a lot of animal feed. From his work, I assume he took the units, reboxed them, sold them on the black market. There was always boxes coming in and out of here. According to livestock auction receipts, Kleiner has 116 cattle. All bought at once. Who buys 116 cattle? You buy a lot. Your point? I don't know. It's just it's a, hell a hell of a lot, lot of, of animal, animal feed. How does a charity attract this much in donations when, from what I can see, it's solely focused on giving to the businesses and community groups of one tiny Georgia town? It doesn't. It doesn't need donations when they could just print its own cash. Picard just called, said that he's going to lose his job if he doesn't find someone else to take care of Charlie and the kids, so I'm going to take over. What about the Tweed tornado? Grace files gonna have everything we need, right? Know who's due? Kleiners. I go to the source after hours, see if I can get evidence that nails this thing down. Do you want to hear how our lives were ruined, Officer Conklin? Mr. Kleiner wanted to meet Paul. <laughs> Paul was excited. I need expertise moving hard currency around as a way to ensure those favorable terms. Um, that money that you moved today, you may have tried to do everything legally, but that was an impossible task because every cent of every dollar was tied to an international counterfeiting scheme of which you are now part. It's 5 a.m. This better be good. Professor Castillo? Yes? This is Jack Reacher. You are working with my brother, Joe. Joe contacted me and Professor Bryant for a specialty that we don't advertise. Mass undetectable counterfeiting on a global economic scale. Is that a big problem these days? Yeah, it's bigger than you might think. Do you know that 80% of existing US currency is in $100 bills? The US 100 is the holy grail of counterfeiters. It must be difficult to replicate. Yeah, well, there are security features. Strips, holograms, specific dyes. But all of that, if someone is determined and talented enough, all of it can be replicated. Key is the paper. I figured it out. I know how they're manufacturing their money. What? How? Dollars are all the same size. Bleach the ink off a dollar bill and you're left with perfect paper that you can reprint as any denomination you want. Hubble was a skilled currency manager. He kept Planner flush with a fresh supply of $1 bills from cash intensive industries that wanted to hide their income from the governments. Singles would be shipped into Margrave from all over the country. Planner Chemicals must have developed something to bleach the ink off the money without harming the paper itself. Murdering an EPA agent makes sense. If you're protecting a massive counterfeiting operation, you can justify the kill. Planner protected it another way. Animal feed. Know why people use kitty litter to clean up oil spills? It contains diatomaceous earth. It's an absorbent coagulating agent used in everything from pesticides to pool filters to- Animal feed. You start ordering massive amounts of DE, people get suspicious, but you buy feed when you've got cows, no one looks at you twice. We need fake cash that we can link to Kleiner's company. Call Picard. Tell him to meet us at the farmhouse where we left the Jaguar. Try anything smart, I'm gonna put a hole right in your pal's back. I thought you were my friend. I was. Your father promised some real bad guys overseas a hefty amount of counterfeit cash. I killed my father. See, the old man, he had the brains to create this whole operation, but he never had the guts to do what needed to be done to protect it. I killed Jobling, and I, I killed your brother. Reacher, they want me to tell you to do what they say, or me, Charlie and the kids, they're gonna do to us they didn't Morrison. Hubble. You're gonna take Picard to wherever Hubble's hold up and you're gonna bring him to me. Then I'll trade mommy and the girls for daddy. Find motels within three miles of Augusta bus station. Hello, Hubble. I want you 
to stick around for a few days and answer their questions. I don't like answering questions. And you don't like sticking around. <laughs> <laughs>